In today's video, we visit two passage models built out by Midwest Automotive. This is Midwest. This is on the giant, I think 170 Sprinter chassis, also a passage. Let's jump into the tour. So we're gonna jump right inside. It's noisy outside. Uh, this is on the Sprinter chassis, uh, the new model years. You can see that, very standard. The nice thing about Midwest and something that they're kind of famous for is the diamond stitch. Um, this feels like ultra leather, maybe it's leather, but really nice cabin. Even up here, nice details. Shiny cabinetry, famous for that as well. Really cavernous space above the cab. Even the fan grill gets a little uh, extra treatment here. Spinning around, this is going to be the bathroom. It's a little ceiling vent, wet bath, toilet, tissue holder, drain, sink. Nice. That looks to be the shower right there. And here's a clothing rack, if you will, to hang dry or to hang clothing to dry. A lot of space dedicated to the bathroom. Again, um, this feels like wood. It's super highly polished. Um, this is kind of interesting, letting light into the bathroom from the outside. Turning to the galley, uh, Nova Cool. We love Nova Cool. This is the same size uh, fridge, I believe, that's in the uh, Travato. K floor plan, uh, sink, residential style, that's really nice. Ooh, really shallow <laughs> to make room for the uh, kitchen down, or the um, refrigerant down below, induction cooktop, a lot of folks like that. This is kind of interesting with your screen situation. So this screen, it's uh, Velcroed right here, but with this closed, um, all this is open to, which is kind of nice. But with the door closed, let's take a look at that. Even in this, even in this state, you have a very nice view. Although the screen is kind of always looking at you. What do you think of that? Um, nice galley, small, small galley. Uh, not cooking any giant meals in here, and I don't see a countertop extension, which would be nice. Um, multiplex wiring, that's always great. Here's uh, some creature comforts uh, for the Dometic air conditioner, which is above you. Bath lights not working op operational currently, which is okay. Uh, here's the wardrobe. Um, pretty sizable, I would say. Hey, everybody. Um, really cool floor, love the floor. Diamond tuck again on the, on the um, upholstery, and this bed would be the motorized and would come out this way. So you'd have two twin size beds, I would say, um, and still an aisle way here. And indicating by the rails here, a separate cushion will go here. So with the bed fully in place, this is probably a queen size bed at least. Looking up above, we've got uh, cabinetry, cupboards, pretty decent size, I would say. Really giant, enormous over, over bed storage there for bedding and such. And on this side, fairly small, but still uh, doable. Little TV here, but if you're laying in bed, that's nice. Really good views out the windows. I like that a lot. And these do appear to open, and they open sliding like that. So that's probably a Mercedes thing on this chassis. And they have pull down blinds here. Uh, again, multiplex wiring right here. Here's a USB port, neat cup holder, very cool. Uh, so you could certainly, I don't see three-point seat belts, but I'm guessing there's seat belts in here. So you could probably put, what do you think, one, two, probably three folks, plus two up front. And that would give you seating for two for sure, maybe up to five, I'm guessing here. Um, this is really pretty low compared to uh, 
if you're sitting here. So you have to go watch and that you don't bang your head when you get up. A little bit of storage back here. And that would be where the um, bed folds into. Here's the uh, electronics there for the stereo. Cool. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Suburban hot water. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, let's take a look at the pricing here and see if they have anything on here. So this is um, $170,000. This is the, it's a 2021 Passage 144. I'm guessing 144 being the um, wheel length base. So metallic silver, uh, contrast of metal. There is a generator out front generator um, exhaust pipe so options total is fifty six hundred dollars uh, so this is a turbo diesel yeah 144 mercedes chassis so you're kind of paying a premium for that for sure this kind of feels to me like a weekend overnight trip maybe drag the grandkids around for a day or overnight lightly uh, certainly a tailgating rig I'm just kind of curious. Uh, what do you think of this? Again, really small um, in terms of footprint, but fully featured. Uh, kind of cool. Um, the build quality, I say, would say, is, is quite good, and that's what Mid Midwest is famous for. So I hope you enjoyed that tour. So this is on the larger chassis, which is immediately evident by the amount of space in here. So again, the new Sprinter chassis. Um, this one does not not have the uh, diamond cross hatch uh, upholstery, but a very attractive cab nonetheless. Here's cabinetry up above. Speakers. Here we have the pantry, I would call it. That's certainly nice. Lots of storage there. Convection microwave. Here's a Nova Cool fridge. I would say this is the same size as my Travado. Fridge, freezer, nice uh, wood treatment here. Um, here's the screen situation again. So let's close this for the road noise. pretty cool. Yeah, they got some uh, material here on the floor, but the galley is significantly longer here. Lots of drawers. One, two, three, four, five, six different drawers. And uh, the sink is, again, pretty not deep, whatever the opposite of deep is. And uh, this would be the cooktop. Induction hidden. Kind of interesting. Um, you can see out lots of cabinetry above. Quite large, as you can see. It's one thing that's kind of interesting. Um, even though this galley is quite large, that's the induction cooktop, this being the sink. With all this extra room here, there is no additional counter extension. So while you have this ginormous fridge, if you're using your sink and or using your induction cooktop, you actually have only this amount of space to do food prep. So let's choose one or the other or you're going to figure out some way to modify this and bring up a, a counter extension. And because of the screen here, it just kind of begs for this space to be better utilized, in my opinion.
What do you think? This would be the wardrobe again. Yes, the wardrobe. The bathroom is, I would say, the same. What do you think? Toilet. Oops, bounced my head. Sorry about that. Yeah, I would say these are the same. This is the same. What you're gaining back here feels to be nothing really different. This is the same. I can get a little light in here. Um, so this seems to be the same back here in terms of size. Over the head, right? Huge cavernous cupboard there. Cabinet. So it feels to me like what you're gaining is some seat space here. Much larger galley. Big fridge. And then this kind of open space, which actually is kind of wasted in my opinion. I mean, you can spin this around, I'm sure, put a lagoon table here someplace. Now here is a um, table here, so this can be pulled forward and then spun around. So you have a little bit of a work surface here. Got an outlet, which is pretty cool. Here's a light up above. So kind of a front lounge-ish, but to me, a lot of vans like to have this open space here, but it's kind of, in my opinion, wasted space. I don't, unfortunately, see a price sheet here. But if the other one was 174, I'm guessing this is pushing 200 because of the bigger chassis, maybe 180 for sure. Um, but this is the passage, so it's on a bigger size uh, chassis. And uh, this feels better to me, but it's pretty long. If you're driving these things, the, the butt end kind of hangs out. I think at 23, maybe 24 feet is um, the actual size of these. So um, if we think of the Winnebago era, this is the same type of... Uh, um, chassis that this is on. I don't know. What do you think of this? In my opinion, one of the downsides of these types of beds where you have to kind of make it up every day in terms of removing bedding is kind of one of the negatives for this type of bedding bed system. So again, for a full timer like me, this would not work. Wrong floor plan, wrong kind of bed, no permanent table. Um, but what do you think? It feels kind of cool. If Again, it feels like a really expensive tailgating machine. And uh, or a weekend with the kids, uh, you know, weekend trip, but not a full-time rig in my opinion. What do you think? When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So again, with this bed out, it would pull into two uh, twin beds, I would call it. And then again, the rails indicate a middle cushion, so this entire area could be a bed. Um, I do see a lagoon table here mount, so you could have a lagoon table back here, so a permanent table is sort of possible. Um, you could just move this bed, then you'd have a, a twin bed. So with that, we say thank you for watching, and if you got anything out of it, give a thumb up, 
comment below. Would this be something you would like to do? And if you're into vans, if you're into Class B RVs, if you're into the RV lifestyle at all, I'd sure appreciate being part of the success of this channel and subscribing to the channel. Thanks and we'll see you. Thanks again for our friends at Guernsey's RV here in Fort Myers, Florida for letting us crawl through the rigs today. Appreciate that, guys. If you're interested in these vans, give them a holler here. Guernsey RV.